Hey folks, Midwest Crappie Man. Back at you today with another Mystery Tackle Box Elite Bass Box Unboxing. It's March 2020. The water's starting to warm up. I've had a couple buddies out over the weekend and actually today and Monday. And they're catching some pigs. They're catching some big girls. So the water temperature in West Central Illinois is already pushing 50 degrees. So hit the water, see what you can catch, and hopefully... We got some good baits, some good spring baits in here from Mystery Tackle Box that we can do it with. Let's get after it. We got our little old timer knife here. What do you think? What do we got? Is it gonna be a good month, the month of March? All right, it looks pretty decent, honestly. Got your dibble. Got your, let's get the sticker out of the way. Fish on. Knuckles tattooed. That's a pretty cool sticker. That's something different. I wouldn't expect that at all. That's kind of cool. All right. Let's look for our line card and see what we got this month. The stuff I'm seeing is pretty cool. Where are you at, line card? Where are you at? Did I not get a line card? Oh, there it is. Titan. Okay. We got a line. Man, is it full. Look at all them baits. All right. Live target sunfish swim bait. I think I've got this one before, but I don't think in this color. Actually, I don't think in this. I've got one like this, but not the exact same. It's this one's honestly completely, completely different pattern and completely different shape than the one I got. So that's cool. So it's not a bait I have by any means. Live target sunfish swim bait it's their swim bait series if you've seen this they've got the real heavy tails this one's even heavier than any of the ones i've seen i believe um the pattern is a natural bluegill natural bluegill four and a third inch seven eighths ounce so this thing's pushing a full ounce so it's going to take a good rod to throw this bait too Good rod and good line. Does it tell you if it's a sinking bait or a medium slow sinking bait? And honestly, they might send different ones in different boxes. It wouldn't surprise me a bit. Oh, yeah. Man, it feels tough, too, honestly. I think a good, you know, big five, six, seven pound bass could rip on this pretty good. And I think you could salvage it. And fish on another day with it. Big old wide gap hook in that sucker. If you look through the, if you can see through the translucent part, you can actually see the wide gap hook going up. That's kind of cool. And it's got a spot on the bottom if you want to add a treble hook. Big, big, thick, big, thick tail. That's got to be damn near three quarters of an inch. At the thickest part there. I mean, it thins out going up to the body, but big ol' that is gonna displace water and make a heck of a ruckus. It's even got these flat ridges here on the side for water coming forward. I mean, it's really gonna move some water. That's a cool bait, $9.99. Um, not something I'm really comfortable throwing this kind of stuff. I need to do it some more. Um, if you guys got any tips and tricks for throwing this kind of stuff, comment down below. Tell me, you know, your tips and tricks tell me what i should be doing what kind of weather what kind of whatever tips and tricks tell me swim bait fishing for 2020 moving on guys lunker hunt yappa bug this is like a lunker hunt box yep yep oh, okay this is uh, this is honestly pretty cool it's like a pompadour that is locust shaped and we, we get a ton of locusts around here in the midwest Buzzing on the water, making a ton of noise, and man, every once in a while, it was one will get exploded on. And it's not a not a hard lip pompadour, so this is it's weird. This so it's like a soft body frog, got a, a a tail weight like a soft body frog would, but a lip like a pompadour, but it's soft. And it looks it's a cicada it's a cicada body. It's a you know it's a locust. We call it a locust here in the Midwest. Um, top water walking action, cup face. I'm looking to see what they're calling this sucker. Two and three quarter inch, 
half ounce. They're just calling it a water bug. But I'm thinking of trying to mimic uh, what, what I would call a locust. Chew a close up shot. Look at that sucker. Good detail. There's the, the weight in the butt. Strong, sharp. Oh my goodness, look at that. Strong, sharp. Oh, sticky, sticky hook on that sucker. Walk that across the top of the water. I almost think that would be more of a fall bait, but maybe not. I mean, I could, I'm sure you can make it work either way when they're, when they're hitting the top water. Uh, 929. I think that might be a little generous. I think this is probably closer to like a, I don't know, 799, 699 bait, I would think. But uh, it's a good bait. I honestly like it. That is definitely going in the box. Uh, $9.29. The next one. Trapline Rip Knocker by Jenko Fishing. Jenko Fishing Trapline Lip Knocker. I think it's right here. Okay, okay, it's just a uh, uh, rattle trap. But it's weird, the hook's not on it. I wonder if something's going to be different about this. Trapline Rip Knocker. Let's take it out and check it out. Uh, made in China. Citrus Shad is the color. I wonder why the hook's not on. If it's for any for a reason, or this is kind of weird. Okay, well, they give you one big uh, treble hook with a split ring on it. Uh, don't even look like a stainless steel split ring. It looks like a regular, you know, carbon steel split ring. Pretty good hook. But where they lose me... Oh. Let, let's read it. Hang on just a second. Be patient with me, guys. I think I get what they're telling you to do here. I think it's going to be kind of like a lip through on a swim bait. I think, if you look, there's a hole all the way through and I think what they want you to do is put the line through like a line through swim bait tie your hook here and swim it like so because it'll it'll create a different cadence than just a regular when it's on the top so let's see is that what they want trap line rip knocker a long time hip pocket secret of the grass flats fishermen in the deep south. The line through method of rigging a traditional trap serves two purposes. One, to help the bait come quickly through cover. And two, to keep the fighting fish from using the weight of the bait as leverage to throw your hook. You'll see better hookup and catch ratios and unbeatable ripping action through grass and vegetation. Super sharp hooks. Premium paint. And I can't lie, I can't lie about the premium paint. Uh, what's it say? Beetle drip. Is that boy duck it? I don't know. Um, it's somebody's special signature series. But the paint, beautiful, beautiful bait. I won't lie about that. If you can see the way the light shines off here, if you can see the kind of holographic, it is super. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Anyway. Super, super realistic, super cool colors. I'm gonna leave the light shining off that through the water. Will be super slick. You run your line through. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna remove the hook and stuff. So maybe I can keep all this stuff together and use it together like I'm supposed to. Um, but that's pretty cool, honestly. Eight ninety nine. So it's about on par with um, other baits of the sort. You know, like a. Uh, Strike King uh, Tungsten 2-Tap, I think they're like $7.99, $6.99, and super, super good baits, and they're calling this $8.99, so that's within a dollar, if I'm right on the price of the Strike King, hell, I should be right. Anyway, moving on, Carl's Amazing Bait Spinner Bait, so this is going to be a Carl special, one of the things I don't like about that, and everybody knows, is that you can't go out and buy the stuff at Dick's, but what have you, it might be a great bait, I don't even see it, just it. Hybrid. No. That's like a. Okay, here we go. Carl's bait. Right there. 
And this box is chock full this month. I gotta give them that. It is just full of. I like the Sartreuse color on this spinner bait. It's got uh, same blades, mustad hooks, Sartreuse and white. Uh, that's about all they tell you about it. Half ounce. Two willow blades, a gold and a silver. Maybe we'll get it out. Oh, it's stapled to the staple it to the card. Decent skirt. I won't complain about that. It's a decent skirt. It could be a little just a pinch thicker, but it's I'll make a good thump, good shine. Hook seems strong. All this seems strong. I have a lot of vibration. I can make that work if you're a spinnerbait fan, which I'm more of a chatterbait guy, but I, you know, in the right situation, I love throwing a spinnerbait. Um, and it's only $5.99. $5.99 for that bait. Red eyes, I love the red eyes. The red eyes on Sartreuse like that really pop. Really like it. For being a, a Carl's bait, it's a pretty good bait. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. What do you think about that spinner bait? I think it's legit, honestly. For being a Carl's bait. It's got a mustad hook. Six bucks. I can make it work. Right? Moving on. Berkeley Power Bait Rib Shed. Is that these goobers? No. Is that these? Okay, full. Full pack here. Uh, five counts of some big old thick body swim baits. It says to use a swim bait jig head. Four and a half inch. Look at that. It tells you swim bait jig head. Use the imitate shad. Got an interesting scent. What do they call that? Exclusive power bait formula, proven scent and flavor. Gizzard shad. I don't know. It's a weird scent. It's not your normal ANS or. Squid scent. Boy, that is an odd scent, but look at that big old boy. For only being a four and a half inch, that is a chub. Thick, thick swim bait. It's your starter piece for your hook. Silver back, pearl white belly. Big old boot on that sucker. The ribs, this thing's going to displace all kinds of water. That is a cool, cool bait. You get five of these big things. I mean, that I would call that a full pack for as big as they are. Um, Berkeley, four ninety nine. That's that's probably what you pay Dix for these too, honestly. So I can't say that they're off on the price on that bad boy. I'm pretty cool. Then we're gonna go with my other swim baits. I'm gonna complain a bit about those. This is a bit, this is a pretty good month, guys. Honestly, Let, let's let's give credit where credit is due. MTB is. Uh, I'd almost call it a home run so far, honestly. I don't want to speak too soon, but I'd almost call this one a home run. It's really, really, I like it. Thunderhawk mouse head jig. Okay, little little jig, little 3 8 ounce jig with some uh, green pumpkin black skirting. Sartreuse head, little sartreuse. This is a cool jig. Grass jig, little swim jig. I kind of like the mouse head. I think that's going to be the new thing. People really like that. That jig die, that mouse head jig die. A good thick. It's got some like silver, silver almost blue hue uh, skirting with, uh, man, this other stuff isn't even like skirting. It's like, it don't have no elasticity to it. It's almost like stuff you see in uh, knickknacks, some knickknacks and stuff. This stuff is what I'm talking about. No elasticity, but it's pretty cool. It adds a different dimension and different flash of color. I'm not complaining. I think it's kind of cool. And a little sartreuse. And then your green pumpkin back. Big heavy. Black. Weed guard. Maybe you want to... Some people like to, when you bend it down like that, trim it perfectly even with a hook or just a hair longer where it still touches the hook a pinch. That's one way to customize a jig maybe at an angle what have you just just play with it play with your baits like this see what works for you you know what i mean 
Not everybody's the same. Uh, where we at? Four nineteen. Four dollar jig. Four twenty. Four twenty jig. It's a four twenty jig. I'm co I'm cool with that. Uh, moving on. Hard hats jig excavator. You know what these are? These are almost like a Ned rig. Small. Bigger hook though. Bigger hook than a Ned rig and a keeper. This is kind of a. Shaky head, they call it a stand up shaky head, but it's a light shaky head. 3 16 ounce, 4 ot 2 pack, $3.99. So $2 a piece. They're saying these things are worth 2 bucks a piece, and I'm not saying they're not. It's just black. It's like a pale, just like a matte black head. And you got your bait keeper. I can see using these things. Absolutely. That's cool. And yeah, like I said, yeah, $3.99, two bucks a piece. Cream lure split tail trailers. We already seen them, and those would work great. Those are going to work great on this. Your Carl's bait, spinner bait, split tail trailer. A lot of times, this is what comes with like a, your standard Z Man chatter bait as your trailer something like it not the exact thing but cream king of baits 229 you get uh hell i don't know five of them five of them and as i said if you're familiar with z-man product it's the pretty much the stand what standard comes in a regular z-man chatterbait nice little when you're wanting to not super up your profile with your trailer but you want something perfect perfect size perfect color to go along with this i'm just going to keep them together because i'm going to use those together especially this spring i'm going to check that out two more baits we'll go with the easy one first uh and they're in line next stickies ewg four ot the last ones they sent were three ot uh the last stickies hooks I got, and these work pretty good. I haven't used this pack yet, but three aught, so now I got three aught and four aught to throw in the box. So if, if you missed that unboxing, check it out. Maybe I'll link that same one at the end, but here they are in case you missed it. Just your standard extra wide gap, four aught hooks. Right on par with a mustad or what have you. They're, they're sticky, they're strong, and three of them. Four of the three out come, but you get three of the four out. That was almost hard to say. All right, catch outdoors, zero gravity hybrid airquake. That is a mouthful. Look at that. Catch outdoors, zero gravity hybrid airquake is what they're calling this chatterbait. Hybrid chatterbait. They are calling this one skirted weight a half ounce lead free tech head. It doesn't have the color marked of what it is, but if I had to guess, I would call it hot bluegill. Gotta be hot bluegill is what that color is. Check it out. This is nine forty nine, nine dollars and fifty cents, so about Closer on, on track with just your standard Z-Man chatterbait, not your jackhammer or what have you that gets upwards of $15 to $20. So this is uh, got a funny kind of shaped blade. I probably am going to end up putting a bend in that because it's dead straight. Nice head, nice full skirt with the skirt spreader on it. Heavy, heavy. I mean, that's a heavy, heavy hook. Heavy, heavy hook. You can break a jaw with that sucker. Gold blade. Kind of a thin uh, piece. Might change that out for one of my stainless ones. But other than that, that's a, pr that's a pretty good chatterbait. I'll try it. I think it's pretty cool the way the with the bluegill head and what have you with the right with the right trailer. That is gonna be a sweet bait, I think, honestly. And even though like I make my own chatterbaits. I'm going to throw this chatterbait. I don't throw a lot of other chatterbaits other than my own because I make them. I am going to throw this chatterbait. It's legit. So, I mean, 
Home run. Home run, MTB. Uh, what else can I say? Home run this month. Home run in March 2020. You did a good job. If you guys think they did a good job too, go down below and smash the like button for me. If you want to subscribe, see the next video, go right here. Subscribe to the Crappy Man. If you haven't seen this video right here, click on it. It's awesome. If you have, click on this video. It's awesome too. Till next time, it was Crappy Man out.